What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Go back to another video and in today's video um, We're in the same office room that I had I kind of just cleared this room up because I have different plans for it I actually moved my office to the uh, pretty much the guest bedroom and got rid of the guest bedroom um, Just because we, we, we just did a couple things. I'll show you guys all that probably down the road Anywho to the topic of today's video. I have a, an entire pretty much drive I guess steering column or something. I ordered this for the 7 Series. I know you guys don't want to dump any more money into the 7 Series, but the clock spring is broken. It's like two, three hundred dollars, and I found this entire steering column. Watch well, a shout out to Nick. Nick helped me find this entire steering column, which comes with the wheel, uh, the clock spring, and whatever the heck that is. <laughs> so all this was actually only eighty dollars compared to just the clock spring, which was two hundred dollars. And this one actually comes with a heated steering option, so I might do a retrofit on that. Again, I don't know what's going on with the 7 Series just yet. I'll keep you guys posted. It, but probably in the next video I will know what's going on with that if we have to return the transmission if we get to keep it I don't really know and I, I honestly just need to get a good transmission or we're just gonna have to get rid of the car I have no idea but in the meantime I'm not giving up on this thing we're gonna go ahead and just replace that little part we are mostly focusing on the 135 today but I do want to get this thing replaced because there's a bunch of lights on the dash and once we replace this clock spring there should be zero lights on the dash so uh, let's go ahead and just take this apart and uh, at least get the clock spring out because that's the main thing maybe even send off this wheel to Aza because I always send off any extra wheels I have to Aza because I love Aza. And that's why I have a truck. <laughs> And in this part of the video, I do want to give a huge special shout out to everyone that contributed to the M5 builds. You guys absolutely killed it. Thank you guys so much. If you guys want to be a shout out in the next video, make sure to check out the link down below. So shout out to Benet Serene, Derek Milligan, Stephen Powell, William Santiago, Victor Brzenko, Matt Hearn, Charles Abrio, Oscar Bagoysen, Emilis Karklins, Ryan Almond, Artemio Cortez, Adel Saavedra, Khaled Al Khalife. I like the name. I like the name. Uh, TYB, Travis Avent, the third, oh dear, Christoph Bison, Louis Echvaria, Alex Hasmovic. So huge special shout out to all these people that contributed to the build. You guys' names will be on the M5 plaque. And if you guys want to be shouting in the next video, make sure to cop some merch. You guys absolutely killed it. Thank you guys so much. This is going to be definitely tough doing the M5 build because it is a very, very expensive car, but it's definitely worth it. And with your guys' support, we can definitely do it. So thank you all so much. Let's get back into the video. Alright guys, so we just made it to my dad's place and I was in a car that a lot of you guys are familiar with if you guys are OGs and I'm not actually going to show you guys in the video. It's probably going to be behind the scenes you'll see in the background of the video and I'm not going to, I'm going to purposely not mention the car. There's a reason for this and I'll explain it to you guys probably in a couple videos from now, but this car that I'm currently driving in, um, it has a video in itself in about a week's time. I'm not mentioning it again. It's a cheap car too, so don't think like, you know, I'm, I'm hiding a big project or like I'm big balling out here. No, it's actually technically not even my car. My wife bought it, but I'm driving it and we have a little bit of a story to it. Um, anyhow, let's just go ahead and start working on the 7 Series and the 1 Series. I want to get some of the other things done to that car and then uh, hopefully get a couple of the inspections done to the 135 because that car, honestly, it feels good when, you run, when it runs and drives, but I'm really curious uh, to see if it really runs good like on the highway and uh, it passes brake and light inspection and hopefully it'll pass smog once we do cats but we have to install the cats as well. So let's take things one step at a time but yeah we are here with Jonathan. He did drive all the way down here. <laughs> we are here. <laughs> he just, we, honestly he's, one of these days he wants to chill so we're going to be chilling working on cars like good old days and uh, he came to come over in his beautiful 335. He did get new wheels and tires on it which good. I guess we'll have to show you guys real quick so let's go ahead and do that. So yeah guys these new <laughs> tires look like literally drag strip tires. There's so meaty, but we have one problem, one bro. Big problem. <laughs> <laughs> Look how much it's rubbing, dude. It literally destroyed the quarter it, panel wrap. Oh uh, yeah, so. I don't know if you guys know, but this quarter panel wrap literally wraps all the way over here if you do it properly. Me and Jonathan, we always do it properly. We don't yeah. do like slits and cuts. So unfortunately, that's all one piece, which also basically extends to the doors. His rear trunk started peeling. I mean, this has always been peeling, right? Yeah, like that looking. was just our only oh, imperfection on the car. And then this quarter panel as well got destroyed. Uh, so honestly, at this point, bro, it might be a better idea just to rewrap it, new color. What color, guys? What color? What we color, wrap? guys? <laughs> I mean, I'm always a huge blue guy. I don't I, know. Dude, I was thinking. I was like Atlantis blue or something would be super sick, like some kind of nice blue. Yeah, I might just do like have people pick, like actually put up like four colors. Yeah. Just have them pick, and I'll actually do it. Maybe even a yellow, bro. Like, ah. Uh, 
I need something bright like Skittles. <laughs> Actually, I can't say Skittles. I can't say Skittles. Because I know Erlon's watching this, and that's Erlon's thing. So, Erlon, don't hate on me. But I mean, Skittle cards does look good. So, I mean, you're on the right track, my friend. Anywho, guys. So, first things first, I want to go ahead and work on the 7 Series because we do have a bunch of lights on the dash. And the only, all those lights associate with the clock spring. So, you guys saw we got a new clock spring earlier. Let's just go ahead and install that bad boy. Right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just disconnect the battery real quick because yes. uh, I want this blowing my face. First things first is getting this airbag out. I don't know why I'm making a DIY, but yeah, I hate this airbag because it takes forever. Oh, yeah, these ones are tough. Because once you get one side out, this side doesn't come out. <laughs> It's always how it goes. Here we go, first drive. Ready? Three, Ready? two, one. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Come on. Yeah. Ah, no. no, yay. Oh, there we go. Hey, oh my God. first I'm try. There I'm we go, bro. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, heck yes. Bro, that, right. was <laughs> that was easy. That was uh, easy. Normally, those are actually a, a big pain. Bro, so This sometimes takes me like hours. Yeah, dude. dude, honestly, sometimes it takes me like an hour. Okay. These ones, the sport ones are always easier. Yeah, it is. But the, the stock ones are pretty tough. Okay. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> All right, getting this bolt out. So when you re so when you set a clock spring, you guys can see it's currently locked right there. You click this in, and you get to move it and just basically set it to the the perfect orientation. So basically, you have to keep spinning it to the right until you feel resistance, and then you count how many spins back to your left. And then if it's like six spins, you go three spins uh, back to the right, and then you stop there. That's your dead center. So that's apparently how you do it. I don't want to mess this up because I did it on video with Erline, and I just want this to work. But basically, <laughs> that's how it works. Shout out to Erline. Um, out with the steering wheel. That was super simple. Well, there we go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then, see to pop this guy out. Yeah, you can hear yeah, that, right? It is just grinding. Yeah, that thing is just shot. Yeah. It is what it is. And this whole thing should just pretty much come out. I mean, there are some, uh, some cables, obviously. Just go ahead and unplug it from the back. One, two, three. There we go. I used to disconnect it before I actually removed the clock spring. This is the first time I've actually done it. Removing the clock spring first. So much easier. All right, so much easier. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this, guys, is the uh, um, garbage. Garbage. Oh. <laughs> I need to get that back before my neighbors hit me. All right, guys, now this is hooked up. Everything is reconnected. We just pretty much put this back. There we go, dude. <laughs> We're in business, brother. Also, guys, when you're putting in a steering wheel, it should literally just kind of like line up. Line up. Like, don't ever force a steering wheel in. That's there's only one way to go in, you know. There's normally like a little arrow. Yeah, like, on the bottom. On yeah, like where you actually put it in, so it should be fine. Oh, you took yours out a couple times on the F30, right? Uh, on the F30 only once, but on my E90 like <laughs> like 20 times probably. <laughs> 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 like genuinely. <laughs> All right, ready? Yes, now is the moment of truth. So I'm gonna start it up and just show you guys all the lights on the dash that I associate with the clock spring. Oh, actually, all the lights went away. Oh, that's pretty good though. Okay, so basically there was a steering wheel light over here. Wow, the transmission light comes straight back, guys. Oh, what a nightmare, oh, dude. dude. After all the problems with it. After literally everything, guys. Bro, that sucks. Oh no, my god. Man. Dude, this thing's a hoopy for real. I cannot believe this, dude. Anyhow, we do still have the airbag lights, so let's go ahead and just turn off the car and just clear that light. We had one other light here for like the, the traction and then the light here for the actual steering wheel. So actually those automatically fix themselves. You don't need to clear, but the airbag light you do have to clear. Just pulling out my handy dandy, uh, you know, car lead adapter. So now at this point, guys, we go ahead and just clear the lights. It should also clear the transmission one for now as well, and then you know that's gonna come back up. But in terms of the airbag at least that should go come on come out do your job i'm not gonna do it fam. a lot of issues that need to be cleared <laughs> this whole car needs to be cleared off the map <laughs> it was oh, it, it went off finally okay, it's gone. it, 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 it would have but i had i had to, i had to try and save it you had to try to I save it to. i just had to this thing should have been junked <laughs> honestly like if i ever get another car i'm still gonna try to do my best on it it's just this one i don't know it just hates me it really this one does legit hates you like Bro, you guys saw me, I fixed the sunroof. Sunroof doesn't work again. You guys saw me replace the clock spring. Clock spring had to get replaced again. You guys saw me replace the whole entire transmission. You know, I gotta deal with that again. This, I replaced this. This is plastic, bro. And now the air doesn't want to come out of you. I don't get it. I it just doesn't make don't. any I sense, I'm just, dude. I, oh, I have had a lot of sleepless nights, guys. <laughs> Bro, this 7 series anyhow, is just... Stay on the positive side. We are on the right track. I'm going to talk about the M5 a little bit. The M5, we did, we did, order the pla we did place the order on the parts. We do have a shop that's going to help us work on it, which you guys already know. But uh, hopefully when everything gets here, we're going to start you know, working on that. But in the background, we're going to be working on some of these other builds, obviously, to, you know 
get you guys some content at least. And at the same time, uh, I need to get this one out of here and just get some more money in my pocket because honestly, guys, it's expensive. It's expensive. It's expensive. It's expensive. It gets expensive real quick. All right, lights have been cleared. Uh, if we're going to start up the car now. Oh my God, a sight that I've never seen before. No lights on the dash on a 7 Series? Oh, close your door, bro. Close your door. Ah, there's still an error. There's still an error. There's no way I fixed everything. Ah, this Washer is the dumbest fluid. things in the world. I bro, go to... do it. Do it. Do it. Put some water in there, I dude. Need... <laughs> Put some water. Let's go ahead and change the tire real quick. Guys, we need to see that. We need I... to see it at least this once. This thing had a... Probably 20 codes when I bought it. We need to see it at least once. Say everything's okay. <laughs> Let's go ahead and fix this real quick. 150. 150. Vehicle status. Check control. Ah. Level low. Go, go, go get a one food. gallon of water. <laughs> we are back. This Bro. car has really come together. The brown interior looks really good. Wheels. The black wheels. My, sister, my, my, <laughs> my girl actually curved it already. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. It is, it is what it is. This should fix it. Should oh, be the problem. Absolutely. All right, so check control. We have zero lights on the dash, guys. Zero All errors. systems okay. <laughs> a sight to behold. A sight to behold. We've been working uh, so hard to see this, guys. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Um, let's see the steering. Okay. Perfect. There we go. Right. Didn't snap. All right, we're good, guys. Everything is good. Let's take it out for a little victory drive, you know, for at least the most part, you know. we, Guys, I need to throw some emotional music right now. And just be like, I had so much sleepless nights. It is an N54, so it's part of that N54 sleepless nights, you know, family. You, you know how it is. Oh, it drives so good, too. Like, guys, I want to drive it. I don't it, know dude. if you guys know, but the transmission, it's not like the transmission has a problem. It, it's the computer. These stupid 7 Series, they have a, uh, uh, basically like a, it has a brain that you cannot replace. If you replace it, um, the transmission will not run. Um... So we had to replace the entire transmission twice and, and both transmissions were good. It was just the stupid brain. The last one was because of like an L3 sensor and this one's because of a turbulent sensor. All the sensors are well like soldered into the board. So you cannot replace it. Yes. And stupid. it just sucks, like it really does. But I mean, I mean, hey. Oh, bro, look at this. No lights. Oh my God, when I washed the car too, bro, it felt so good. That looks awesome. That looks good enough. Dang, I just really wish this car was 100%. It would have been 100% done. It is 100% done. It's so close. And I'm gonna say it's 100% done, dude. That's it. There's nothing else you could do, really. Nothing else. All right, guys, we're just gonna pull up the 135 to the driver real quick and show you guys what we're replacing. And then hopefully we'll drive it down with no issues because we haven't really gave it on a full drive yet. I did get some moving per permits on it. Oh, I did need to put that on my insurance as well. So I'm gonna put it on my insurance, get some moving permits. Man, this interior looks good, dude. Check Those this look out. Good. This looks so good. All right, guys, let's just get this on the driveway and uh, just change out that charge pipe. All right, guys, so you guys saw in the last couple of videos, we did put back the PCV, so it'll pass small because of the P P PCV. We took off the oil catch can. Um, we took off the AFV intake. So the last thing right now, I mean, we do have a aftermarket uh, intercooler and an aftermarket charge pipe. Now, I don't know if this charge pipe, uh, I mean, what's it called? Evolution Raceworks. I, I don't know. I don't know if this uh, this J pipe for the inner, the, the cooler itself is gonna be able to mount to our charge pipe. Let's hope for the best at this yeah. point. I'm really hoping it will work. Um, and I'm hoping we have everything we need. I did overpay for this charge pipe, honestly. Um, and bro, like. Is it cracked? Nah, it's good. It's just oh. so dumb. Like, why? Why this is even like a factory option? You know, like, that, yeah, should, that should not have been, re you know, released with the car. Honestly. I got it with these vacuum lines because hmm. you know we need. I was wondering where you're gonna get one of those little triangular things. Yeah. Um. So we got the full set. This should work. Let's just go ahead and uh, remove that cowl again. Another very stupid thing, bro. Look at, yeah, guys, look at this, guys. Look at this. If you guys go with the burger tuning cowls, you don't have to remove all of this to pop up your engine cover, to remove your intakes, to deal with your charge pipe, check for leaks. This could all literally be gone if you yeah. had the burger tuning cowl filters. Honestly. I'm strong, we're gonna be getting it on my girl's car, the her 135, because we're we're gonna, we're gonna be doing a real 1M conversion to make that thing absolutely insane. Maybe even, like, I'm not gonna say the full plans because then he has to say, you said you did it, but you're not gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. The, the, the other plan, but I have to show you. I have to just, yeah, I have to just have to do it. I have to just do it. Enough talking, nor you have to do things. You know what I'm saying?
All right, guys, so we just got out the sensor on the charge pipe. So at this point, this is a really nice charge pipe. It is really Even nice. says Evolution Raceworks right there. Real tile, blow-off valve. So, uh, yeah, not bad. All right, just gonna put the old sensor back in there just like that and uh, start bolting everything back together. I hope it's gonna be pretty easy and should be, uh, should be pretty easy. Especially this has a lot more flex, yeah, you know? Yeah, it's gonna be way easier. I hope so. All right, guys, so we have our new band on here. I kept the original bands with that one and we kept the whole assembly together mainly because if we end up selling it, Whoever that gets it has everything they need, and uh, so we have our we have we bought we we have a new V band. Is it a V band? What is this called? A clamp. This is a clamp. A clamp. We have the original sensor in here. Um, so at this point, bolt it back together. Hopefully everything goes in together. The only thing is, if you guys check down here, it has an aftermarket uh, intercooler, so it has an aftermarket J pipe as well, uh, which is the proper way of doing it. But um, I'm hoping this will actually mount to a aftermarket J pipe. I but, think it will. Uh, let's figure this out. <laughs> it looks like it would. Yeah. Yeah. We just went ahead and put this thing completely back to stock. We took off the intakes, the charge pipe, the, what's it called, the oil catch can. The only thing this thing pretty much has at this point is the upgraded intercooler, which doesn't affect smog or anything at all. So we're just gonna leave that on there. And then in terms of the down pipes, we do have cats for it now. So uh, that's pretty awesome. We do have cats finally. I, I found a really good deal on it. It's actually from a friend. He sold me his cats. He didn't need them anymore. So huge shout out to him. I'm not gonna actually get into any of the details, but huge special shout out to him. So we did get cats. Cats for the car. I'm super, super, super excited to get this thing 100% ready to go and smogged and registered and all that good stuff. So as of now, we're just waiting on replacing the cats. I'm gonna see probably, you know, if Showman can help us out on that. Actually, if you guys could do me a huge favor, I'm actually gonna put Showman's uh, Instagram down below. Go ahead and just click on that Instagram and just post saying, save a BMW. Everyone just go to his latest post and just click save a BMW. Everyone just type that in his latest Instagram post. Again, comment save a BMW, follow him, show him some love, because hopefully he'll be gonna help, help us install the downpipes on the 135 and help us install the clutch of flywheel on the M5. That'd be pretty ideal and pretty awesome. Huge special shout out to him already for doing um, the transmission multiple times on the 7 Series. If you guys are located in the NorCal area and need a BMW mechanic, I mean, hit up Showman Motors. They, they sell cars and they, they do have a new repair shop slash mechanic shop. So if you guys need some BMW work done, like valve covers, engine oil pans, transmissions, anything at all, make sure to hit up Showman Motors. Without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, just take it out for a spin. Hopefully everything is gravy in the Navy and try to get headlight and brake done because that'd be pretty awesome. We are in the 135, guys. That is now finally insured, and we do have a moving permit. Hopefully, we'll make it there, bro. Oh my I mean, I, I'm pretty sure we'll make it there, but uh, we did just remove the charge pipe and everything, so hopefully, uh, everything is tight to spec, and we're good to go. Guys, I don't know if you guys can hear this, but we have it's 100% stock. It's literally just the intercooler and the downpipes, and hear how good these downpipes sound. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Oh my gosh, dude, this thing's quick. <laughs> you gotta be careful though, because it's tuned. It is, well, no, it's tuned. I took it off. You, you took yeah, it yeah. off? Yeah, it's just crazy how fast these cars are just from stock. Yeah. These turbos are healthy too, bro. It pulls. Yeah, it does pull. I throw it in neutral. It's just, you guys can hear the yeah. turbo spool so much louder with just these downpipes. Just the downpipes alone. I guess maybe that's why these downpipes are so expensive. Like, the AR downpipes, I've never even heard about it until we got this car. And they're yeah. like like $800 downpipes. Man, these guys are close. We're gonna have to find another shop, but uh, it's all gravy in the Navy. As we're actually heading back home, <laughs> as we pulled up, we realized we have a light bulb light um, for this little turn signal. You guys know on the fender, that, that turn signal. So that bulb is out. We just noticed it when we were checking the car while we're waiting for us to be called up. And I'm like, okay, that's no good. And then also what I realized that our brake fluids, I don't know if he's gonna check, I promise you, I'm sure he's gonna open up the brake fluid tank, right? Yeah, he checks the fluid condition. Yeah, and I realized that this brake fluid hasn't been replaced in uh, four to five years. So I think uh, I'm gonna swip, I'm gonna slide by Blake's house. Hopefully he can be help us because he has to pump and everything for the brake fluids. Uh, I just need to go to my house and get the brake fluids. And then, you know, he's supposed to shout out to Blake if he'll help us do it. But uh, but yeah, <laughs> we're just waiting on this light right now. Come on. There we go. There we go, now it's our chain. Now I can continue talking. So let's go, let's go get some brake fluids. All right guys, so we're officially back home and uh, yeah, I just realized after driving on public roads, 
that the like literally the brake you push it in this far nothing this far nothing <laughs> literally just this much you see all the difference we actually ran into my parents on the highway which is that was weird. so funny dude <laughs> <laughs> so we come back from work and we couldn't get their attention they were just like so like tired because of work so shout out to my parents for also you know put you know for just supporting us our entire lives because they were they looked really 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 tired they did look so. tired um, anywho, we, we honked at him, and my dad literally got like, he looked at me, like, he, dude, he was pissed. He looked at like, me like so bad, dude. And then you see Jonathan like, hey, it's me. <laughs> and then they all, both were like happy. It was so yeah, funny, so dude. That's good. That's good. Anyhow, so we do have, uh, we bought in, um, I think you only need like a liter, right? You need like a liter. These are 500 milliliters. So two we're taking them. just four bottles to be safe because we have it. So shout out to FCP Euro for actually supplying us with these bottles. I actually had them for the M4. But we're gonna go ahead and use it on uh, the 135 again because the, the, it was just terrible. Like yeah. pressing on that was so bad. Um, in terms of the turn signals, we need two, two new turn signals because this also is really loose. I don't know, it just literally yeah, comes it, out. It comes out and it's broken. So uh, yeah, we're gonna need a new one there, and we might as well just go with some smoked out ones from Amazon. Those always look pretty awesome. And then yeah, get new brake fluids, and then uh, we'll probably check the brakes when we have the wheels off at Blake's house. We're actually heading over to Blake's right now. Shout out to him uh, for helping us. Uh, you know, do our brake fluid job. Yeah, exactly. So, there we go. There. All right, guys. So actually, we just brought in the car to Blake's garage. <laughs> What's up? Welcome back. Welcome back. So I've actually never worked on a car here, but I've, I've, I'm familiar with the scenery in your videos. Yeah, little spot. So I got my brake bleeder, a little power motive power bleeder. We use that on the truck. So yeah. shout out to Blake for that. We'll, uh, we'll basically just uh, flush the system because. I don't know when the last time Alex, the previous owner, did it. He probably did it, but then again, the car was sitting for quite a long time. So four car, years, to be specific. Yeah, <laughs> it sits for four years. Like you definitely need to flush the system. Uh, so it'll probably be pretty gross. Um, but the little power bleeder thing that I have makes it super easy work with one person, um, where most of you guys are used to like pumping the brakes and like twisting open the little bleeder screw and like. I have no brakes. experience in this, so. It's the worst thing. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to deal with it's it. It's the worst thing. So this thing makes it super easy. So yeah, we'll uh, pop off some wheels and do it. Go go. So we just finished up bleeding all the brakes on Nora's uh, 135i. Uh, pretty much just pumped this all through. We started at the furthest caliper, right, in the back. So the uh, passenger rear on this particular car, because uh, the brake reservoir is in the driver's front. So we did that, uh, driver's rear, passenger front, and then the driver's front. So yeah, pretty much put all new brake fluid in it. Now we should have a nice and firm pedal and we won't die driving down the road. So. Perfect. Oh, there we go. Shout out to Blake. I honestly was scared just driving. When we came back from the brake shop, I was like, this isn't going to pass. I don't, I don't want it to pass. I need, I need it to be safe. So shout out to Blake. But literally the same day I texted him, I was like, hey, can you help me? He was like, yeah, sure. I was like, appreciate it, bro. Yeah, no problem, dude. Uh, and then it looks like we're going to hope that those brake pads are good. They're pretty like, oh, yeah. all the pads on the car are kind of like, they're, they're kind of all borderline. They've like, seen better days, but uh, if they work, they work. If they yeah. work, they work. That's so. the whole point of a brake inspection. They'll literally yeah. let us know which ones need to be replaced and which ones don't, and we'll fix it as a free retake. So right. yeah. we'll get it sorted. Blake really wants to show you guys something. All right, so uh, <laughs> I pulled out my E30 out of the garage, and I what did I not have when I pulled my car out? Cool. Seat. A seat. Oh. <laughs> I was sitting on the Oh, floor. yeah, yeah. So I got these seats. I actually purchased a new seat. <laughs> I'm so smart. <laughs> yeah, right? This oh, is my my old seat from my E30. And this thing was sitting for a while. So I'm gonna have a video out pretty soon, but believe it or not, this thing was super faded, super oh, yeah. gross. 
Well, I could you remember tell. this like a week ago? Yeah, no, it, it was. So you uh, can see the areas. It kind of got a little overspray, but I basically did a uh, fabric paint and painted really? this thing up. Oh, now, it looks like, a lot better. This is this is a new one, and that's an old one. But I mean, in comparison, you can kind of tell. Honestly, but, you can. The only thing I could tell is literally just the lettering. I don't know if this was even ever yellow. It was. Oh, okay. And that's just a little and then, from the uh, paint. seat marks. <laughs> So pretty, pretty wild. Wait, hold on. Was that is this just that's, faded that's or that's like yeah, the original from UV? So if you guys are unaware, um, when you have like a racing seat in the car, if you don't have tint on your car, uh, the UV from the, the light from the sun, right, can actually fade it. So like where the straps were before was like right here, right here. Oh right yeah. Here. And then you notice that other area. That actually happened super, to mine quickly. Yeah, and it happens very quickly. Yeah. Uh, so I did that. Feels a little different, whatever. New stuff coming for the M4, so I'm gonna throw one of these in the M4, probably just driver with this new one. I'm waiting on some stuff from Keys, and then I got these new two piece <coughs> rotors. These look awesome. Yeah. How much are these bad boys? Those are $1,200. Yeah, I'm at the wrong place. Yeah. See you later, John.